everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we are reviewing... Alright, let's see if we can get the right side here. <laughs> we are reviewing the Black Hawk .177 caliber high velocity brake barrel air rifle. And can you believe it? This thing can actually shoot over 1,000 FPS. Woo! Well, let's get testing, shall we? This is by Ruger, just in case you didn't read that. So we got the scope in here. We got the gun in here. Woo, that's got a little weight to it. That's got a little weight to it, my friends. That's a pretty nice looking gun, if I do say so myself. Wow. Very nice. For ages 16 and older. So we got the scope in here. Link is in my video description if you guys are interested in buying this. So we're probably going to... I don't know if they have it sighted in at all or not. Probably not. So we're going to have to do that. But um, yeah, it's a nice little scope. So guys and gals, this is a brake gun. So what that is, is watch this. So you bend this down. Now it's loaded, it's air pumped, and it's ready to fire. You just simply put it in your round right in here. Lock it up. You are good to go. Like that. That's all you do. You can use your knee like that, break the barrel back. Let me tell you, that's got some... It's... The weight is not the nicest in the back. So what I'm noticing, the weight you got right here, from here to here. So it's a little heavy, but it's not bad enough. I mean, it's... You sh it should be manageable. We may test it without the scope. So right now it has the neon sights right there and there. We'll see. We'll see if we put the scope on or not. So let's see how well the scope is sighted in. Boy, this scope is definitely off, big time. So we gotta dial it in. All right, we gotta put another target up there. I, I'm not seeing. Uh, I think I'm shooting through the same holes that already, because it's it's so it's right on point. It's just we gotta get it up higher. Still lower, but we are climbing. So we're actually going to try and go up some more clicks here. We're going up five clicks. Let's see. We keep going up so much, but hey, well, let's try it. Well, we went up five clicks, and that actually took it down. So let's shoot again, see if that was error by me, or if it's reversed. Alright, that one, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but I can see it blew out. We actually shot straight in the top hole. So we went up five clicks. The first shot was lower. Second shot was right on with our very first shot the first shot we ever took on this target. Alright, that was without propping the gun up. 
and we got a little closer to the top. I was aiming for the center. It clusters really nice if I'm propping the gun or if I'm holding it in midair. Just seems to be an issue with getting it dead even. We are so close. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually going to aim a little above the bullseye and then we're going to go a little bit to the left because it looks like we're a little to the right so we're going to aim above the bullseye. Actually no, we're not going to do that because that will mess us up. Let's go up another three clicks. Let's see what this does. Oh, we're almost bullseye. Almost. Oh, let's go up one more click. One more click. I tried to hold her as steady as I could this last round. One click. There we go. Let's see. All right, I can't tell if it went through another one of the holes or not. So to tell if it did or not, we're going to go bullseye, but we're going to aim for the left red circle. So the far left circle, we're going for bullseye. Well, that's still consistent. The left bullseye, we hit just a little bit to the right and a little low. We keep going up, but it doesn't seem to be going up. You know, I'm following the directions. Maybe I should just go by how we calibrate our real rifles. Maybe the problem is the directions on here. I don't know, half of them are in Chinese, so let's try for the circle to the left again, see what happens. Oh, circle to the left again, and that time we are almost bullseye, but a little to the right. Okay. So, let's play a little game. We're not going to aim for the bullseye in the center. We're going to aim to the left of it, and we're going to aim a little above it. And let's see if it hits bullseye. I guess it would have helped if I would have looked beforehand to see which. All right, let's see what this done. We're aiming for the center. Less than half an inch from the center of the bullseye. A uh, little bit to the left, but that could be human error. We are almost at the bullseye. My friends, wow, that took a, a lot of tedious. We're going to do one click up. One click up. Alright, I'm not sure. I think we hit bullseye, but we were in a, a hole that we already had, so I'm not quite sure. So I'm actually going to hook up the GoPro with the scope. That might throw me off with aiming. I'm hoping not, um, but we're going to set that up because I'd like to get a, a resumed in shot of this. So we'll see. I, you know what? Yeah, we'll see. All right, let's see how this works. Looking through the GoPro, we hit it almost bullseye a little low. <laughs> That's awesome. So hopefully the GoPro picked it up good. We're going to do a couple shots with the GoPro on.
here she is guys so we got her almost uh, center with uh, 51 feet almost directly centered so that's not bad a little distance we could scope it in for even further away um, so when we first started shooting it was hit way low I mean way low at 51 feet I mean it was just horribly low so low that it was hitting down in here at 51 feet um, now this is what we're looking at so the, the sh these two shots were aiming higher and then here you can see aiming lower so a little bit of a flashback here these were all of our shots aiming around a little bit of flashback here now that wasn't in the center we put that there so you can see how flashing back here how we worked our way up got it to where we want it super happy with that hey thank you so much for watching my video and choosing to subscribe to my YouTube channel did you know I actually have multiple YouTube channels so if you guys are interested check out all my other YouTube channels if you are into other different content so up here as you guys can see it should be right up in here these are my other YouTube channels spelled out so just search them and I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and checking out my other channels. You guys are the best and you're the reason why I do this. So thank you so much for hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and checking out my other channels. See you guys on the next video.